Hey there, we got another quick question today. Uh, we, we've seen this type of setup before back in chapter 3, I believe. Um, and this has to deal with the dipole yet again. This time the magnetic dipole. Our statement reads, show that the magnetic field of a dipole can be written in coordinate free form. B dipole equal mu naught over 4 pi times 1 over r cubed times bracket 3 uh, m dot r hat times r hat minus m. All right, let's go look at a diagram, which should again look familiar. This time we have m, little m, bold instead of the p for the dipole. Um, so again, we just use the same arguments. From the orientation of the diagram, we can see that m is equal to uh, m dot r hat times r hat plus m dot theta hat uh, theta hat, which when we break this down, is just m cosine theta r hat minus m sine theta theta hat. Cool enough. Let's plug it into the coordinate free form and see if we do get the field of a dipole. So we plug it in. We note that uh, m dot r hat is equal to m cosine theta. So that's why we have three m cosine theta in the second to last line, r hat, and then minus m cosine theta r hat and then because we have two minus signs, we have plus m sine theta theta hat, and it condenses down just like before and as expected. Good to go.